You may have heard of robbing of hives and you may never have seen what it looks like. One of my hives is being robbed right now. See how all of these, see, see how they're getting at every, every seam. They're trying to find a way into the hive and see how there's no, there's no happy bees coming and going. Um, you know, they're not coming and going and bringing pollen in. The robbers are just overwhelming the, the bees that lived here and taking, taking their honey. This hive they've already killed and uh, it's completely dead. There's nothing, nothing left in it. The bees that were here absconded after being so, you know, traumatized by the robbers that they, uh, that they, they just left and found a new home somewhere. Um, but you can see, see here how they're, how they're clustering and trying to find ways to push themselves in. Um, they're trying to push, they're trying to push the entrance uh, reducer out of the way. You'll see there's wasps. Um, and uh, that's what's going on here. Um, it's pretty obvious. I thought they were okay. I came and took a peek at them yesterday. <sighs> Pardon me. I came and took a peek at them yesterday. I had hoped that they were going to be okay. You can see how they're, they're fighting. Some of the ones that you know belong here are trying to fight off the other ones. And they're just not, not uh, capable of it. Um, but you can see that happening. Um, I came out yesterday and took a look, and I, I was hoping that this hive. I was afraid for it after this last one was robbed, but I was, I was, I was praying that maybe it would be okay. But it's pretty obvious that it's not going to be. I uh, see how see there's a see see how one's fighting another one. I don't know which which bee is fighting which there, but it's real obvious that uh, uh, they're fighting each other. Um, well, they are the. I, I put out a friend of mine suggested putting out some. Uh, some, some syrup elsewhere in the yard to attract the robbers away from the hives, but obviously it was not uh, not enough uh, to keep them from from finding this hive and, uh, and taking it. Um, so I don't know that there's any way to uh, to prevent this from happening. Uh, well, now that now that it's happening, um, so. I will probably not have any bees left. I will keep a watch on it, but uh, I doubt that I will have any bees left in this hive by the end of uh, the end of the winter. I imagine that they will go elsewhere just like their their fellows did. Fortunately, I had already ordered two new uh, batches of bees um, from uh, our weaver apiaries. They're wonderful bees, as you know, um, from my other videos about them. Um, very gentle and sweet, sweet things. So hopefully I can get these restarted and uh, I'll get them earlier this year because I ordered early. So I'll be able to get them first part of April, get them established. Um, you know, if this hive does disappear, then hopefully the robber bees will be uh, I can remove all the sweets from this area and uh, uh, prevent the robber bees from, from, you know, passing the word through their generations to, to continue to come here. Um, it's just not a. But see how they see how they're nosing around every every nook and cranny. They're trying to find lots of ways into the hive, and it's not just bees. It's uh, wasps and. Uh, uh, there were yellow jackets out here the last time um, so so if you ever wonder what robbing looks like uh, this is this is it um, it's a sad sad state of affairs because there's not a darn thing I can do I can uh, 
I watch it happening and uh, all I can do is uh, uh, just feel for the little bees that live here because there's just there's no way to tell them apart there's no way to you know attack the <laughs> the robbing high you know the robbers that are here without hurting the, the other little bees you can't even tell them apart so all right I thought I'd better show you guys what it looks like uh, what a shameful situation it is okie doke Take care. Have a great day. Bye.